So it's the women's scratch race now. Up for grabs. Pretty good field, real combination of internationals, smattering of Australians. There it is, Lisa Brenauer from Germany, Charlotte Becker, Madeleine Sandig, and Stephanie Pohl. All part of the Teams Pursuit squad heading over to Melbourne for the World Championships. Fine tuning their preparations here. Shana Braspenix, Joanne Kizanowski from New Zealand. And the girls roll off now. And a little bit of looking over the shoulders there. So the German back in the field, Sandig swings up the track there. And that's number 17, Isabella King, local girl from WA. Leading through, she swings up the track. New Zealander there, also doing her pace making on the front. Kent sitting back in the field, just trying to get a look of where she is. Riding smart. And it looks like it could be Breno who has gone on the attack now, but they're not letting them go. They know the Germans are strong. And that's number 15, Roman Jutta, who has gone out after her. She's an Omnium specialist. And she'll, she'll look forward and relish this attacking style. Roman Jutta there swings up. And it's Taylor Jennings, the junior world Omnium champion. And she's a class act. I watched her at the recent national championships in Adelaide. There she is on the front now. She's just a junior, 18 years of age, stepping up into the senior ranks, looking forward to it. And gee, the selectors are loving the female talent that is coming through at the moment. There's really been a spurt in young female cyclists getting into cycling. Number four now on the attack. And well, they're taking their turns, aren't they, the Germans? One by one, Stephanie Pohl now. It's her turn to launch an attack. But again, it has been nullified. But they're not messing around. And another German now goes. So they are eager to set some pace here, the Germans. And that's number three, Sandig, once again. Nice little gap has opened up by this four. They're rotating turns nicely. There's one rider now trying to go across and it looks like it could be one of the New Zealanders in fact. It's Kizanowski who is trying to close the gap and she is, you can see her in the back of the camera shot there. The New Zealanders getting close. The crowd are giving her a bit of a rev up as well, that'll help. They'll be coming around for 11 laps to go. 11 laps to go and the New Zealander has crossed the gap. So Kizanowski has got onto the rear of that group of four. Well, she tried to let the wheel go there just to let the other rider in, but immediately they're going to make her work. And so you can see there, she's lost two or three lengths and that's just, oh, that will hurt. That will hurt a lot because she had the momentum. She probably should have just followed the wheel. Now she swings up, she'll try and have a breather. Bella King leads them through. Back in the bunch there. Well, they've got some work to do. It will be two laps to go when they come around. In fact, they're coming around for the bell lap this time as they catch the main field. So it's on. And you can see now the German is going for it. She's got Kizanowski on the wheel. Kizanowski's got the good sit, but the German Number two, is she going to get it? Charlotte Becker, she's pushing hard towards the line. Kizanowski coming at her, but Becker, I think she's got too much. She has. Well, the Germans, they really did animate the race from the start. And Becker, well, she's excited. She's a happy girl. Yeah, uh, for sure, that was a strong bunch. We didn't expect that, that um, here are so many uh, good riders. And so we were a little bit surprised when we uh, saw the start list. Uh, but yeah, it went well for us.